die set. Um, this is a brand new version, brand new. It's the only airing of the day to be able to get this. So I do not expect this uh, to last. Am I in the right place? I'm gonna be over here, right, Kimmy? On the right side, this is Advent over here. Okay, here we go. So make it sure I'm not missing you guys up. So. Uh, 12 Days of Christmas is, as I said, is brand new. Um, it obviously a must have for any of your holiday decorating or decorations or sentiments or cards or whatever you're doing. And you get the classic 12 Days uh, theme, 1995. Anna's here to tell us all about it. Go ahead, Anna. Oh, I tell you, one of my favorite Christmas carols is the 12 Days of yes. Christmas. And I, I, I dare you to, to try and do it in your head right now, because <laughs> when you're thinking about the images that come to life uh, and you want to put them on your Christmas cards this year, we've made it very easy to do. So look, 12 days, right? So partridge in a pear tree, right? <laughs> Two calling birds, <laughs> three French hens. All right, now that's really fun. And all of the 12 days are in this adorable miniature little set in silhouette. Um, look at the, the ladies dancing, uh, the pipers piping and the drummers drumming and the lords of leaping. And it is so much fun. Uh, they look like um, they look like little awards um, <laughs> that you might have. Uh, we, we just had a lot of, of Griffinites make things with these um, these beautiful dyes where they, I, I saw on Facebook where our friend Claire had made ornaments out of each one of these and she had put a rosette behind them and it was so adorable. But we, I'm using this in concert with our Advent card making dies, that's gonna cut these little windows. But each one of these is going to give you a pretty little surprise underneath. And what is special about it is that you can actually cut all 12 days in one pass through your impress machine. And I won't do that, but it's it's a, a, lot, of, a lot of fun because it's so darn quick. All right, so if we were making something, let's just say, I'm gonna show you this little sheet where we actually cut them all out of letter paper. And so we have our, I'll take our first day, our little partridge in the pear tree who has been zironed and look, we've made a card with a red background so that our glitter will show up. Now, I would recommend actually putting these in after you have cut your windows, um, only because it's important to center them and get it all um, squared away correctly. So it's like a little treasure box, um, so adorable, and each window, all 12 days are here. So it's easy in that um, it becomes a surprise inside each box. So when you're actually looking at the card, a normal Christmas card on the front, yeah. um, and then you open it to uh, an entire beautiful Christmas wish and and the maids of milking and the five <laughs> golden rings. And I love isn't it. Isn't that cute? Uh, yeah, and I love how you, I, I, you can, like you said, you can put it in the card or you can put it on the exterior of the card like we did here. And yeah. if you look, here's two different samples of how you could do it. I don't know about you, Anna, but I, I, I get every so often, every couple of years or so, I'll get a card like this. And it is so much fun and so impressive to look at. I love, and even though it's funny because you test yourself, you try to remember all the different things, but it, it, the reveal is so much fun. And when people look at it, they realize this is a card that really, I mean, there's a lot that goes into this beautiful card and it makes an impression when people get it. And a lot of people will, I mean, most people I know never, you'll never get rid of this card. You'll save this card year after year and put it up on the counter. You could frame it right, if you wanted to, put it in a little frame and just put it up as holiday decor if you wanted to do that as well. Um, but to me, it's, it's, it's brilliant. And remember, you get all those, all those um, dies are included, the 12 of them, to be able to do this calendar. What a great idea and fun. All right. It's an it's an add-on to our advent card die. Yeah. So so meaning that what you're seeing is this was made with a with a die set that's coming up later today. We might be mentioning it I think next. But uh, what's so fun about it is that when you're thinking about an advent card, num normally it's uh, something that you're looking forward to every day. But here we're singing a song. So I think you should sing for us, guy. Yeah, you know what? 